Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do, so let's just, <laughs> let's just go, okay? Because this is how you do, well, I do crazy patchwork, alright? Now I'm going to just show you a few different things, like, you know, what I'm going to work on here. Um, I have got some velvet fabric. Uh, I'm going to just cut a piece off this big piece of red here that I've got. You might not be able to see it, you may be able to, we'll be able to in a minute though. I'm going to cut a piece off. The only thing about velvet too is it does tend to leave its own fluffy bits behind, you know. So, that's not too bad. That worked out quite well. There's a lot of different sorts of things you can buy, say, to do with velvet. You can get velveteen. You can actually get this. Is, this is a really old one that's probably way back in the day. Some sort of, um, <laughs> you know, but that since the year dot. Uh, love the colour and this one here is a really good one as well you can actually get a synthetic one um, and that's fine to use you can use whatever you want to do uh, to do it with now I've got the colours that I really love to put together and I will do other things as well with this but I just want to show you like I just want to show you what I'm going to a couple of stitches and this is the way I can do it and actually put something together at the same time because I, it's a shame to do it and not have um, this is where one of those rolly things comes in handy, you know, that you roll the fluff off with. And I think I've left mine out there because I think my daughter had it on the weekend. So, anyway, back to that drink of water again. <laughs> Just as well, I have a good supply. Um, right. So, this is a piece of demisk that I got from off a, a serviette thing, you know. Um, and it's just a just the thing you see so I use that because it's really good to sew with really good to learn to use to sew did um, anyway where's the I started to do something else in here be after I did the last video and I thought I can't because it's something to do with gluing and sticking and I thought I'd have to move all these things away first before I do the gluing and sticking part so anyway I've got um, this here and it will it's pretty good to, to work with okay so is the um, good needle good thick heavy needle and it'll go through all these things just fine okay so just try that first because the fabric that you're using you don't want it to you know all go wrong now um, the reason I was, I was going to use this to start with and I don't know whether I'm actually going to put this in here or not I suppose I could use a light piece but I think I'd rather not at the moment. I'll just see how I go. Now, if we were doing... Um, maybe I should use that for the background. That'll be a small purse, won't it? But that won't matter. That won't matter. So you can have your background piece. Probably cut it a little bit straighter than Sonia's done hers. It'll make a little tiny purse or a tiny little bag of some sort. So your pieces, you want them to be... Say, for example, I'm going to do this. Now I've started making a crazy patchwork bag. So, you see, you never know what I'm going to do. So, I'm sorry about that. If you're not ready for this, I'll put it up in the description, though, that I've started to do this, all right? Okay, so get across there with that. Cut that off and make it level. I don't think I think it's, I don't think it's big enough, but it's okay to start with, I guess. It can be a small pin cushion maybe it'll be a pin cushion okay so anybody that's starting out might want to just make something small as well all right now i'm going to leave that um i think it's reasonably squarish no oh, no that's not good uh, anyway <laughs> sorry about that i'll just i'm just going to use it anyway because i'm not very good at cutting straight and i'm going to be cutting here forever and end up with nothing so you need to have in a small well, the majority of what I do, if it's only little, I need to have at least nine pieces, okay? Because you want at least two of each colour. So I'm just going to go across here and get some more different colours to put in it. Um, I'd like to find a green. I've got a purple one. Uh, that's a uh, darker. Okay, I've got that. I've got this one here. This is a really dark, I've got an orange and I've got a green. So if I've got, I need nine, maybe nine. So I need, uh, I can do, 
I can do all those, right? I've got one, two, three, four, five, and then I can do double of a couple of them, all right? So I've got five colours. You can do three colours and do two of each and two of each and two of each, you know, like... <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, but anyway, I'll just cut a bit off this. Now, this is off a really old piece of curtain that was okay, so I kept it. You know, like the curtain wasn't nasty or nothing. And um, I acquired it many years ago. But I hang on to these things because I just want to. And it's nice, isn't it? Now, this is actually a synthetic one, okay? But I'm liking the purple too. I really like the purple. I'm going to go with the purple. A bit screwed up, this one. I don't know whether he's a very good... Um, good one or not but I love the colour okay so we're going to go with this you know, I love to do the crazy patchwork in these colours I might have to stick iron on for a minute and just do I put the orange in let's have a look when I cut it and see what happens okay so the orange is a synthetic one as well but it being said it's not too bad to put in it okay and I didn't I took the brown one out what else have I got in there and some other colour, I've got a brown one, just reaching into the drawer here, can't really get closer to good, okay, and blue too, this blue's nice, okay, that looks really awesome, doesn't it, oh, a lot of the time that you're doing this, you know, spent trying to figure out what you're going to do, <laughs> but then it's the fun of the thing, isn't it, well, I really like these colours here, I really love those colours, I don't mind the purple. I don't mind the blue. Now, I want them to go together, so I'm going to have to see what will work. I would use the green as a three coloured one. And I'm just going to cut mine to start with into squares, okay? Or longs, oblongy things. I've got that one. I've got this one. There's two of those. Okay, and the red one, I'll get two of those. I definitely need one of those um, things that you roll out the, off the fluff with. Got to have the purple in there, it just has to go in there, doesn't it? Might not have to iron him, I might be able to just put, I'll probably turn it on for a minute and just give it a bit of a squish, flatten down, I should say. Because this is only a very small piece. We're not going to need a lot, but I like to make sure I have plenty. I mean, I could be cutting them way smaller. Somebody that does this regular will be absolutely crying and thinking, oh, Sonia, for goodness sake, will you stop doing that to your material? So I've got four pieces, actually, now. Okay, so I'm going to go with the green. Because I like the green, I'm going to stick with the green a bit. Okay, now in amongst it, we're going to have... Um, two four six eight nine in amongst it we're going to have lace and doily pieces so that'll change the actual thing a fair bit okay so what i want to do now um is just put this on okay so i'm going to just sit that one there <coughs> and i'll just get a pin put it on okay now because i'm doing this in velvet You'll find that it doesn't fray too much, okay? So you're going to be able to butt that up against the other one, but you don't want to do it straight. You know, there's nothing worse than having straight things, is there, really? So you want to do it on an angle like that, okay? So I'll put that there on an angle, which I want to take up a bit further past the edge, so when that's cut off, that'll be nice and smooth there, okay? I can take a bit of this off here. Don't take too much, because you don't know which way you want this one to go. Okay, so I want to put that one there. All right. Now, everybody's different. Everybody will be doing this in a different way. Um, people will be using different sort of things to, to do it with. So, um, this is just my way. So, I'm going to go there with that. Okay, because when I think about it, then too, I'm going to have to think about my seam. All right. So, the seam will be here. And I'll need this to come over there enough so that that covers that up nicely. And there will be that piece there, okay? Now this might be, have to be done in a few parts, this, because I wasn't actually going to do this today, but I'm going to... can't help myself. I've got to plug the iron in. A good idea if I did that. It would work a lot better if I 
do plug it in. Make sure I turn it off too, son. Somebody yell at me. <laughs> turn the iron off. This is going to be the old little iron that I have that I purchased for a dollar. Look at this, isn't he cool? He's, he's got a part here that just flicks off. It's starting to get warm, so like that. And it's it's a travel one. It's even starting to warm up already. So you'd think I'd get put it down, wouldn't you? Really, wouldn't you? <laughs> and that clips on, and you've got your iron, and it is getting warm. Look at that little, isn't that cool? It's not, it must be old. It's a Breville by uh, Murphy Richards, and you, it must be old. Come on, I don't want it to be too hot when I go to iron this because this could have a bit of synthetic in it, um, which will melt up just get a bit of come on it's flattened it yet no let's keep going I didn't think you want to see me doing this okay so we're going to cut that bit off there that's going to be hard to, to iron out and where's another piece over there okay oh, I've got that much stuff about me <laughs> but it's so much fun so much fun, I'm really enjoying this. I'm a bit worried though about a parcel that I sent out to a lady a fair while ago and she hasn't got it and it doesn't impress me at all because I never got one she sent me either so I don't know what's going on with the post office. I really don't understand that. Um, I really don't I feel really bad about that because um, I sent Renee a parcel a fair while back now. Oh, well, weeks, weeks. So it goes over to America but... I know we always get on here and get upset about our missing parcels. Now I won't put any more of that onto there and I'm going to switch off the, the iron, okay, everybody? I'm going to turn it off. Yeah, good, good, good. Okay. <sighs> Bit of fluff. I'm going to have to get that thing. Now I'm going to put this one. Probably go on that way. Um, or straight. How about if we put it a bit, a bit straight? There we go. Look at this here. So you want to make sure it's on the edge and put it straight there. Okay. Now, because I've got um, one, two, well, probably would use another colour to make it easier, wouldn't it? I don't know if I'm too partial to that. Oh, gracious me. Green can go again. Green can go again, definitely. Green can go on there, like that. Okay, now all these lines that you're making, you're going to be doing embroidery along all them. So you've got to think about, well, am I going to be, a, am I going to want to do that? But you are, because really, you need, <laughs> you need to. <laughs> It'll be fun. Okay, so I'm going to cut a little bit off this one because it's a little bit big. Okay, so we just cut that off, and we'll put that there. I seem to t I tend to sort of go on the same angle all the time, and I'm going to try and stop myself from doing that by just <laughs> doing it again. <laughs> Ah, dear, Sonia. Put the straight side round there. That's the way. Okay, so we're going to put that piece on there like that. Okay. Now, I love the colours in these things because I think they're absolutely gorgeous. You know, they remind me of, um, I don't know, gypsy colours or whatever, don't they? So to, to, to get between those two there, so this is going to be uh, not so red. How can I explain that? I'm going to put some of this onto that, okay? So that's going to go over the top of that one. And there's that going to turn that way down because so it's not too much red in the same space, if you understand. So I'm going to put that on there. And make sure that I've got it all going across here at that level, okay? So I'm going to pin that on. Like that okay now I'm not going to be able to do all of this today because like I said I didn't plan it but I really want to show you how this is done that one there like that so skew whiff isn't it it's going around the corners that's not very iron very straight on you well it's not iron. I mean it's not cut very straight so here's me doing some crazy patchwork which I never intended to do today but it's going to be fun isn't it 
I've been wanting to do it for a really long time to show you how to do this because it really is fun and the stitching and that is the most you know it's the fun part I suppose you might say so I'm hoping that I don't run out of power right now I need two little pieces for the corners so I'm going to get some more should I do green or do I do a, a green and you know green's too much I need red don't I I need red yes I do need the red so I'm going to put a red bit in that corner I'll figure out what colour to put in the other corner got a very large piece of this um, righto there we go that's a nice that bit and what am I going to put in this corner got no idea the green because it's only going to be very vaguely seen you're not going to see much of that because there's the um, fabric under there so I'm only going to need a tiny tiny bit right? but I'm going to sit it there because that's where I'm going to have to sew it so while I go and do that I'm going to turn the camera off while I go and sew around there in straight stitches all around the edge okay now um, then I'll get back on here I might take this off for the time being because you never know I might not need to go on there you never know what I might do with it yet but anyway so that's what your basis for that is now when you turn it over you're going to see where when I do when I do stitch around there I'm going to be able to cut it off but I'm going to switch the camera off just for a minute 